Welcome guys uh, to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE Chapter 1.5 uh, Expanding Brackets and this is a great C video and I hope you enjoy it and let's proceed So in this episode, I'm going to teach you guys three methods to uh, solve the most basic uh, and useful uh, skill uh, expanding brackets. So the first one is to solve it vertically, which uh, might not seem um, so easy, but it is uh, really easy. Uh, second is how to expand with foil, and that will be explained uh, in a later part. And the third would be how to expand with crab's claw, which most people learn, hopefully. So let's jump into the first part. So for the first method, uh, expand two uh, x plus three uh, times x minus four. I will use a vertical uh, solution, and I am going to use this question for three of them to prove they are all identical, so do not need to um, be afraid that you don't uh, remember them all. You just need to choose the one you are most uh, confident with. So this is vertical. What do you need to do? Well, write normal algebra, uh, like in numbers. In vertical form, you write like this. The first term in the first bracket, second term in the first bracket, first term in the um, second bracket, uh, uh, second bracket, and the last term in the second bracket. So this makes a um, multi uh, multiplied um, f vertical tower thing. So what do you need to do? It's simple. It's just like normal calculations for the first step you leave this zero and put uh, use x to multiply out so x times 3 is positive 3x and x times 2x is 2x squared demonstrate it right here it's uh, a tip quick tip is keep them in line so that you don't mix them up which is really easy to make uh, in exam, uh, this mistake is really easy to make in the exams. So now that we have got the first row, we need the second one. Minus 4 times uh, positive 3, or negative 4 rather, gives you negative 12. And negative 4 times ne uh, 2x will give you negative 8x. Oh, did I say a? Never mind. So that is, well, not in line, so yeah, there we go. So this looks normal and looks um, a bit, well, still a bit complicated. So what do you need to do is to draw a line through and add them up as normal uh, addition, uh, multiplication does. And that would give you negative 12. Uh, negative 5x and 2x squared so um, I have got the answer here and I'm going to make a copy of it just so I can put it back up uh, in other uh, examples just to show that this method, uh, this vertical method works uh, the same as other methods. So this is question seven, uh, not seven, second, uh, second question, not seven question, uh, expand 2x plus 3x minus 4 and that is still the same as question one. The reason is I want to prove that three methods are equal and they will get all get 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 as shown on part 1. So, yeah, let's start 
uh, by explaining foil. Foil is not the kitchen foil that you think it is. It's called the um well it's called the foil method with the meaning of um foil first outside inside and last they are sequenced and they have to be added together in order to get the answer so <clears throat> the first means first term which is 2x and x outside 2x and negative 4 inside is 3 and x last is 3 minus 4 so or negative 4 and that will correspond to this list and if they multiply together you'll get um see um 2x squared minus 8, 8x plus 3x and minus 12 what will well now you need to collect like terms where x goes together to negative 5x and what do you get you guessed it 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 and that is the second proof and this is uh, called the foil proof and um, if this is not good enough I recommend you to go over to Minute Physics uh, where they've got a video to uh, talk about foil proof and that is pretty much an animated um, proof of foil which is a lot more interesting than this one so um, I will link it in the description and if not you can just ch search um, in the physics for proof so uh, for question 3 same question same answer but in different methods uh, this is called the crab's claw method or uh, I personally think it should be called parrot speak but whatever this is a crab's claw. Well, poorly drawn. Uh, I don't have the art for it. Uh, never mind. Um, what it really is, is two arch and well, on top of each other. So what does that do? That doesn't achieve a thing, but if you put the equation in it, then you'll find um, hmm, it's not too uh, accurate but yeah so 2x goes to x and negative 4 3 goes to x and negative 4 this uh, is uh, one of the most used ways to open a bracket and that would make um, 2x times x plus 2x times uh, negative 4 which would make this and the bottom bracket goes like this uh, at this point I don't think I need to show the ABC um, step by step guide because you should be able to do this uh, after I've talked through a lot of the basics uh, in previous episodes. So um, these two have to be added together, but before that, let's simplify it and make these two add them together. And I forgot the plus sign. There. <clears throat> so now we've got 2x squared minus 8x plus 3x minus 12 which is you guessed it again 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 so all of these for one single answer is it worth it? well depends on what you think and what you're doing I personally uh, recommend Crab's Claw because it is universal what I mean by that is um, 
it can be used for th uh, three term brackets. Bracket doesn't uh, just contain two terms, they can contain up to whatever infinite number of terms. So in order to do those, a uh, foil wouldn't work because there will be infinite, um, well not infinite, there will be too many combination of uh, inside or out, well outside, never mind. There will be too many combination of inside, so that wouldn't be helpful. And first and last still works. Yeah, it's just inside, I think. And there are also mid like those middle terms that doesn't mean anything in foil. So yeah, I do recommend that. And for lot uh vertical, it's a bit too messy. And it can get out of hand if you uh, shift it half a number towards the left hand side then you'll be thinking where does this belong to? well, of that aside, this is crab's claw so it's the tips again for this uh, 1.5 I believe and my tip is to choose the method you're most confident with 